Hi, I'm Andrew from Cruise Master and welcome to Cruise Master Class. Today we're going to be talking about wheel alignments. If you own a caravan or trailer with independent suspension, a wheel alignment is a critical part of the maintenance of that vehicle. Now, before we get stuck into showing you how it's done, I'm going to go through the tools on the bench here to show you what you need to do this. In order to undo the hinge bolts on all the suspensions, you're going to need a spanner and you're going to need a torque wrench. Obviously, you're going to need a different socket or spanner depending on which particular suspension you've got. To aid in uh, turning the adjusters, we have a Cruise Master Special tool which is available on our website. This allows you to hold on to the adjuster and do the nut up at the same time. Makes it all a bit easier. For when you're actually doing the alignment, you need some measuring equipment. So we use two uh, pretty standard straight edge rules to check the toe. And we use a digital spirit level in order to do the camber. This one's been modified slightly to make it easier for us because we do it so often. All right, so now we're going to head over to the hoist and meet Kieran, our Tone Performance Centre Manager, who's going to walk us through how to do the wheel alignment. All right, we're over here at the hoist with Kieran from our Tone Performance Centre, and he's going to show us through the wheel alignment. Now today we've actually got the van on a hoist just to make it easier to film and show you what's going on. But you can do this at home on a nice flat piece of ground. You want somewhere where the tyres can move a little bit to account for the adjustment. So, Kieran, what's the first step? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is adjust the camber and get it correct. So we'll take a measurement of that and then we'll make any adjustments if necessary. Andrew, can you just grab the level and take a measurement for me? Yeah. So what are we looking for here and how we place the um, Okay, the so you want two flats on the rim and make sure they're even so we're not picking up on a high spot at one end and a low spot at the other. Yep. All right, and the ideal measurement we want is 90 degrees. So there we're 89.2, so we require some uh, positive camber put into that. So I'll just undo the nut and we'll make any adjustments as required. Tell me when we get to 90, Andrew. Yep. Almost there. Whoop. Look at that, perfect. All right, so we'll just nip that nut up now, making sure that the inside tag doesn't move at all. If it does, you may require to hold that at the same time as tightening. All right, so we've got a bit of clamp on there. The next yep. thing we'll do is we'll adjust the uh, toe and in and toe out and we'll get a measurement on that to start with too. So we use the two straight edges. When offering up to the tyre, just make sure you pick up on uh, even parts of the tyre so you don't want any bulging or any lettering that might throw the measurement out. All right, so we are 360 there. And 360, 364 there, so we're towing out. Towing out. All right, so we've got four mil. So now I'll loosen the nut on the, the toe adjustment. All right, if you can just, the back will move. So if you can just keep your rule on the back there, Andrew, while I make the adjustments. Yeah. So about 364 there. About 363 there. Okay, so that's one mil toe in, that's perfect for the front axle. So we'll just lock that up now. I will just hold this adjuster to make sure it doesn't move now that we've got it perfect while I do this one up. All right, so we'll just do one last measurement, make sure nothing moved whilst I was adjust uh, tightening that up. 364. 363. Perfect. All right, now we've got that right. We'll torque that up to 190 Newton metres. You can find the torque settings in your owner's manual. This is the XT. Uh, so they're all 190 on these hinge bolts. All right, so that's a, a mill toe in on the front axle. On the rear axle, we're looking for parallel. So that's what you're after, and 90 degrees in the camber for all four wheels. 
Thanks, Kieran, for walking us through that. So that's the end of this Cruise Masterclass. We're going to make sure you keep up to date with all our Cruise Masterclass episodes. Keep an eye out on YouTube, and we'll see you on the next episode.